I'm from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, uh, and I'm studying uh, mechanical engineering up at the UW Platteville campus at UW Fox Valley, uh, so a little bit south of Appleton there. Um, but as I went through classes and I kind of heard about the program uh, and kind of heard that I could stay around uh, in the area and I could get a good degree from that, uh, I thought, well, you know, it, it works out really well for me and I think it's a, it's a good program. Uh, I think one of my favorite courses has been um, my Design of Machine Elements class. Uh, it was a difficult class, um, had a lot of work to do in it, um, but I think I learned the most from it. Um, I spent a lot of time kind of, you know, trying to solve problems and trying to do it a different way, and, and I really enjoyed that sort of uh, problem solving and, and that sort of the challenge too, you know, and I, it wasn't just a straightforward answer. I didn't have to just plug in chug equations, but I actually had to uh, sort of think about it and sort of, you know, do my own thing a little bit. For me, the greatest advantage is that I've been able to work. Um, so before I went to school, I was working in a small machine shop as um, just doing kind of odd jobs, you know, counting parts, whatever, and, and sweeping up, cleaning, and that kind of thing. Um, and then so I could continue working there once I graduated high school. Um, and so I, I learned a lot about machining and I got a lot of hands-on um, experience from there. Um, I got good at programming and stuff like that. Um, and then I kind of can use that as a stepping stone to get a, an internship at Oshkosh Defense. Um, and so I've been working there full-time for uh, a year and a half now. Um, and they just actually just offered me a job, um, a full-time position as an associate engineer uh, earlier this month. So that's been really cool to be able to actually, you know, while I'm in school, still be able to develop my career. And, you know, it, I, I don't feel like I've been, you know, just in, in stationary for four years. I've actually been able to, you know, improve in my career and sort of build on that as I'm going to school, which has been really, really helpful and exciting. So by the time I'm done, um, it'll be, well, for me it's a little different. It, it'll be seven years total from the time I graduated high school to the time I actually graduate college. Um, but in there I took a year off to do some uh, business classes at the Fox Valley Tech. Um, so, so really about six years of, of mostly part-time school. Especially for the PEP program, it's very flexible. Um, you know, so if you have to take classes at night or if you, you know, want to work on stuff in the morning and then just, you know, meet up with your lab partners or whatever in the evening or, or however it works out, um, it's super flex flexible, uh, with, especially with classes that are online. And, you know, you watch a lecture when you can. Um, and so it's super nice and super convenient in, in every aspect. And I, I think if people who don't do the PEP program or distance learning or, or you know, you miss out on the college experience, but you gain a whole lot more. So. but definitely take advantage of anything, you know, in school or outside of school. Um, you know, extracurriculars are huge. It's where you, you meet a whole lot of friends. Um, you develop and, and find, you know, what you, you really want to do and who you really are kind of thing. Um, so being able to do that and, and just take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way, it's, it's huge. And it changes you into a, a well, it makes you more who you want to be, I guess. So, so take advantage of all those opportunities.